So you just created a brand new script in Unity. You open it for the very first time. And as usual, you remove these comments or the start and update methods altogether. Yeah, you then add a nice little namespace to your script for your project and you're ready to go. But wouldn't it be nice if you could skip these steps and the new script always started out like this? Fresh and clean and exactly the way you want it to. Script templates are here to help you with that. To find those, go to your Unity installation folder, which for Windows users by default is under uh, C, Program Files Unity, and then navigate through some subfolders. First hub, editor, then choose your used editor, editor again, data, resources, and finally script templates. Here you find quite a few files. Uh, we'll look at the top one for new behavior scripts now and give an outlook at more later in the video. So when you open this one, it looks quite familiar. That's how a new script looks like. Leave the script name as it is, but for the rest, you can go wild. Let's try removing the start and update method first. Save the file and whoops. We can't just save it to that folder because the folder is protected. You could now save it somewhere else and copy it over, but we can also do the change using Notepad++, a little program I highly recommend for quickly editing text files and especially scripts. So here we have it open in Notepad++. Let's remove these, save them. And it also tells us that the file can't be saved, but it suggests us that we start in administrator mode. And if we do this, we can now finally save the file. Back into the editor and let's create a new script. And it looks exactly the way we want it to. There's no start and update function. So let's try adding maybe a little signature to our template and maybe the awake function. Save it. Now that we're in admin mode, it uh, goes through right away. And back into the editor, we create another new script. And this one now has our signature and the awake function. Have you noticed these root namespace begin and end variables? You could set a namespace like this, but that would be quite hard coded. And yeah, these are variables and we want to adjust them somewhere. So where do we go for this? Uh, we go to the project settings, then under editor. And here we have our root namespace. We can enter it here. And then when we create a new script, it's going to have that namespace. And this way, the namespace is defined per project and not the same for all projects. Speaking of which, you can also add the templates directly into the project. You just have to create a new folder called script templates as a child of the assets folder and Unity will find and load the templates contained within. These don't need admin rights to save and will take priority over the ones in the Unity installation folder but you have to restart your editor for changes to take effect. Some more things to keep in mind. You have to be careful when updating your Unity version, as the Unity installation folder and with it the templates within might get removed when uninstalling. And these templates also only count for the Unity version where the installation folder contains them. If you use multiple Unity versions for different projects, you have to adjust them in each installation folder or use templates inside the project, which I think is the way to go in most cases. Finally, back to the other templates. We can also modify these however we want, for example the code for a new shader. But what's even more fascinating is that we can create our own new templates. Let's try it for a scriptable object. I have prepared an example for this that I'll copy into the script templates folder and yeah, let's have a look inside. Instead of mono behavior, we now extend scriptable object and we add a create asset menu attribute so we can directly create instances of our object. Now we have to restart the editor again for this to show up. And here we go, we can now directly create scriptable object scripts from the right click menu. How awesome is that? And once we created one of these, uh, we can also, since we added this create asset menu attribute, Create instances of this right away. 
there are many other use cases for this to speed up your workflows. You can basically have templates for all text-based files in your project. I'd love to see you share your templates and ideas in the comments.